What's up everybody? So today uh, we're gonna be changing the Civic up a little bit. Uh, this trunk has been broken for a while and it just kind of rides it strapped in place and it's kind of a pain to get in and out of so I don't really use it that much. I just, just got these spares thrown in here and I had uh, like my parts box with a bunch of control arms and stuff. But uh, we're gonna try and turn it into like some sort of a four-door truck with like a little mini bed right here. I still want to keep the doors and the back seats and don't really want to cut anything. But we're pretty much just going to make a wall right there at the back seat and clear all this stuff out. But uh, get the trunk lid off and then get this piece of plastic out of here. So we'll cut the tunnel off to that. Well, we pretty much got this thing all cleaned out and almost done gutting it. Just pulling the speakers and the rest of the wiring right now. There was a lot more stuff in here than I thought there was. Weight reduction. Positive screwdriver. So from here we'll just finish getting this little bit of wiring out of here and then uh, the next clip you see we should have a sawzall and we'll chop this, I don't know, yeah the speaker deck I guess, I don't know. We'll cut that out of there and then uh, we'll be on our way to making a four door truck. All right, I got that first piece chopped out of there. And then now we're just gonna go through and get all this extra stuff off here and clean it up a little bit. Maybe cut it right in here or something. But we'll go ahead and get all this stuff shaped up and see how it turns out. Got it opened up a little better. These sides cut off here and a little smoother down through here. Um, still gotta clean up this edge right here. But we've got that bar right there cut down and it'll go underneath this piece all the way across and give that a little bit of uh, support. But this is about as far as we're gonna get right now. And then we'll pick this back up tomorrow. Next day down here, back at it. Gonna go ahead and uh, finish getting all this stuff cleaned up through here and uh, figure out some way to get this sealed. And then I've also got a piece of plexiglass and uh, we'll use this for the back window. So we'll go ahead and get to work on this thing and see if we can get it knocked out.
making a little bit of progress. Um, got this bolted back in there and then the bar welded in on the bottom. Give it some extra support and then building kind of like a frame structure type deal. And then we'll build our wall off that. It'll come down all the way down to here. And then from this part up is uh, where we'll use this plexiglass over here. And then we've got some parts of a old cut up roll cage. And we're gonna try and uh, use these somehow and make some carriers for the gas jugs and spare tires and stuff. So we'll get the rest of this frame all welded up and then start making the uh, wall back here. Got our uh, structure all made up and ready to go and then got some cardboard and made some templates for this wall in here. And then of course made sure the seats will still go on and all that. All that still goes together. Justin just going through and adding a couple welds on the inside to make sure it doesn't like rattle and vibrate and stuff. Probably go back and uh, paint it all black and stuff. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But making progress. Um, once we get this all done, then we'll start on the making the window here. So I made a little bit more progress. Um, Went ahead and painted this wall black. Did all that sign off there. And then Justin's over here working on uh, a window. Definitely not the right way to cut plexiglass, but uh, it's the only thing that we had laying around that we could find that would do it without chipping it. Um, Sawzall didn't work, had the didn't have a right blade for it. We did have a jigsaw, but it's got a wood blade on it. It didn't work. Uh, and then the, the porter band would have worked, but it's not really deep enough right here. So we're gonna get a kind of rough cut with the angle grinder. See if we can't get it to fit in this shape right here. And then maybe we can make the more precise cuts with this like around the edges and stuff. But Got the uh, windshield all fitted. And then got some silicone now running around here. And then the windshield is uh, curved this way and this way. So we're gonna set it in here and then use this ratchet strap. Ratchet strap it down to get the curve going this way. And then we're gonna have to let all this dry and everything. And then we'll be able to push the backside down and get that set. So. Go ahead and get all this set up and then we can move on to whatever we want to get done next.
right, so we went ahead and tried to screw the centerpiece down and close this gap up. And we got the one screw on this side and then making it lay flat over here, we actually ended up this side cracked on it. So we're just gonna leave it like it is. Um, I silicone this piece back in and we're just gonna let what's there dry. And then if y'all have any ideas for sealing the rest of this in, let me know down in the comments and uh, we'll get to it next week or at some point. Definitely need to get this sealed up though, but we're gonna go ahead and move on and uh, got these roll cage pieces. Obviously we need to come down over here and we need to cut these pads off of them, but we're gonna make um, the place for the tires and the um, gas jugs. So we're gonna start seeing where we need to cut these and start getting them cut up and see where we can get on that and hopefully get it knocked out here in a little bit. I'm gonna shoot one at the van. Oh shit. <laughs> Quick little firework break. But making this crazy notch in this tube. And uh, it's gonna fit up right there. And then it'll go down into there. <laughs> cool. Bolt it in. Bolt it up. <laughs> Did you just high five that skeleton? <laughs> got a good bit done uh, got these bars welded in here and got the gas jug mounts all done and then plexiglass is sitting here with the ratchet strap on it still letting all the uh, epoxy and stuff dry it's getting pretty late so we're gonna leave it off here tonight um, we were gonna try and get spare tires mounted up here that's why we left these pieces so we're gonna build off that to make the tire carriers we're gonna have two of them up here so if y'all have any ideas for that, leave that in the comments for me also, along with any ideas on how to fill that gap in right there. But this is as far as we're gonna get onto this week. Um, I don't know, I'm liking how it's looking. Show y'all it from a different angle. You can see these bars coming up over the roof. But for the most part, when you look at it, it Still just looks like a four-door Civic on some mud tires, which is what I was going for. So we'll probably come back down here next week and build the uh, spare tire carriers and stuff like that. Do a couple other little things, just make it look a little cleaner and button it up and Hopefully someone will come up with a good idea for that right there. And we'll get that knocked out also. But thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you next week for another one. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe.